Hey guys, Chip here, and I've got an interesting update, some add-ons I want to share with you. So let's get right to it. You guys probably know about my KidOps Toggle VP display add-on. It's a free one that comes with KidOps Free and KidOps Pro. And let me just kind of show you what it does real quick, just in case you're wondering. So if I just duplicate this, let's, I select this one, this one, and I'll do a Boolean difference using the Bull Tools and that's control numpad minus and you get this this nice boolean and sometimes you want to edit this object and so you can go into here the object properties and viewport display and down here you can set it to wire or you can set it to texture to whatever and you can get to it here that way the toggle vp display add-on just does that automatically for you by using control alt shift z so you just go back and forth so it goes from you know the textured to wire and to box. So uh, allows you to do that. So that's that's pretty cool. Now, another thing it does, which is kind of neat, is you know, I can go into here and let's just tab these, get into like vertex editing mode, or I'll move this up like this. You know, sometimes, you know, I might have, you know, you know, something like, you know, that doesn't work right, and I want to basically align all these things. I can just go into, you know into a selection mode, grab all these top ones, and I can say scale, and then Z, and zero, and that kind of gets it for me, right? But I hate hitting all those keys. So what I've done is, let's do this again, we'll rotate it out, is I've just set it up so that, what well, I can just use Control, Alt, and whatever the direction, Z, so there's Z, right? So that gets those all flat on the Z. So I can come over here, and I can say Control, Alt, X, and do the same thing here. And I can go in the Y, and, and the Y is a little different because the Control Alt Y is a hard reach, so I use the C button for Y. So I just come over and just use C. So anyway, the, the idea is that you can actually start to use this to align and all your vertices. Let me show you one more thing. Let's go into something like, uh, you know, our monkey here. And, you know, you can actually do this in, you know, face mode as well. So we just select the faces here, and get those selected, and Control Z, come over here, <laughs> and Control Z, make, make our monkey have a box head. So that's Control X. You get, I think you're getting the idea here. Control X. So I've got, I'm just creating some kind of a box head here. Control C, and something like that. So you get the idea. So that's a really handy tool for me. I, it keeps me from having to hit S, X, 0, S, Y, 0, S, Z, 0. So that's a good one. So let me show you something else here that I got going. Let's just go to Design Magic. We'll just add like this cable wire. Like so, we'll tab into this. And let's just go to the front view. And I'm going to add, let's take this and we'll just say E and move it around, E, move it around, E, move it around, and E. We'll just, you know, there. And I'll move this down, snap it to here. Now I may say, okay, I want these three aligned. So of course I can do the control alt X. I'll just follow the color of the arrow and I get that done. And then I may say, I want these aligned and control alt Z. And now I've got, you know, this done and I might, you know, just move this around. So I get something like that. So that's kind of cool. The problem comes is when I'm trying to shade this. So I can create a new node here. And then I'll say Shift A, and let's give me a image texture node. And we're going to hook that up to our base color, so you can see what we have here. Now let's just open up a file. I've got this grid, and I'm going to show you what that looks like. Let's just go into our image editor, and we'll show you what that grid looks like. So some kind, of, it's, it's basically a UV mapping grid. So you can see it doesn't really work correctly. If I want to try and like map all this in, in, in the green area, I can't really do it. But let's go into the UV editing and um, zoom up on our object here. Go to our modifiers and we'll apply all the modifiers. And now if I tab into it, I've got all this. You don't see there's nothing, anything over here. So let's go ahead and drop this in here so we can see what we're doing. And we'll go three, A, and I'll just say U, unwrap. I'll use smart UV project and just use the, the defaults. And as you can see, let me change it to something you can see a little better what's going on. But you can see these are all kind of wrapping in a different different way, right? So, so I'll go into vertex mode, and let's just select the two vertices like these. And I want to uh, align these in the Y direction. So that would be Control-Alt-C and Control-Alt-C. And then this would be Control-Alt-X to make sure that's right, Control-Alt-X. So I get all these done, hit 3. Now I select this one. 
this face, and then I hit the L key, which selects all the connected ones. You can see how that works. Then I just right click and say follow active quads, and it puts everything in here, right? So we'll go back into our grid, and we'll go over here into our view, our EV view, and you can start to see how this works. I can just select all these over here, A, G, X, and as I move them around, I'm, I'm mapping it correctly. Now, if I want to, I can also say UV pack islands, and that's going to get, get them all over here on this side, and then I can GX and move them, move them across as I like. So anyway, that's another neat thing that you can do with this shortcut. Just use the uh, Control Alt Z, Control Alt X, and Control Alt C is Y. Remember that. So that's the key. Anyway, jump on over and get your get your copy over at wherever you, wherever you downloaded KidOps Free or KidOps Pro. You just grab your copy there and install it like you would any other add-on, and then you've got all these neat new features. And I hope you enjoy it. See you. Bye.